Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your April 2022 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Sagittarius and take a look at what it is that you are manifesting or working towards manifesting in the month of April. So we're also going to dive into your fullest potential at this time. We'll take a look at what you need to keep this momentum going, we'll take a look and get messages from your guides as well as action steps that you can take, Sag, to help you achieve your manifestation. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. And holy moly, what do you have here right away? Some of you are reaching for the stars here. You have the 10 of materials, which is the 10 of pentacles. You have the star card and you have the nine of cups. This is absolutely amazing. Whatever you are moving towards here, Sag, and we'll clarify as well as we move forward but this is something huge this isn't small this is something that you've been wishing for with the nine of cups for quite some time here and I feel like you are really close to manifesting if you haven't already by the time you've uh, watched this video in April because there's something coming in quick something coming in hot for you there's a lot of success so the ten of materials which is the Ten of Pentacles, talks about you bringing stability to your family. This is about your home life as well. This is about your coins, your pentacles, finances, material gains, and I see a lot of it for you in the month of April. This is about your health and your body as well. So the Ten of Pentacles showing up is about your wealth, abundance, building a legacy. Some of you are a rising star here with the star card where I feel like you're building a legacy that will uh, withstand the test of time. It's something that you may be moving towards because they're giving me Knight of Pentacles, so I'll be curious to show up, see if that shows up here in your reading. But the Ten of Pentacles is about long-term goals. It can talk about an inheritance. It can talk about you preparing or getting ready for retirement here. The Ten of Pentacles is about family ties, putting your roots down here in something that's really going to be fulfilling from here on out. So the Ten of Materials showing up for you smack dab right away here as far as your manifestations is huge because to me, it's one of my favorite cards in tarot. It's definitely about that happy ever after type of energy. So I feel like whatever you are moving towards this month, it's going to bring in a lot of success. You have the star card showing up here right in the middle. Now this is about inspiration. It's about hope. I feel like you are being guided to bring more positivity and peace to not only your own life here, Sag, but to the life of others. Some of you may be motivational speakers. You may be influencers. You may have a strong pull on social media or acting or music. There's something here with you putting yourself out there in the spotlight, and I feel like you are being compensated. You're being really uh, highly compensated is what they're telling me. A lot of people are recognizing what it is that you have to offer and they want more of it here and right behind it the nine of cups is the card of wish fulfillment so this pair combined is something that is through the roof huge Sagittarius I would love for you to hold this bookmark this reading in your in your library in YouTube and come back at the end of the month and share what this is that you've manifested because your dreams are becoming a reality and a lot of you are hitting uh, the nail on the mark here. You're, excuse me, you're hitting that jackpot energy of uh, achieving some sort of success, some sort of wish fulfillment that you have wanted for quite some time. Let's take a look and clarify, Spirit. What is this showing up here for Sagittarius? What is it that they are, wow, they're, they're really talking, uh, they're going a mile a minute. So, what I'm feeling here is a lot of you have a lot of exciting energy coming in, and there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of love this month as well there's a lot of praise they're giving me six of wands let's see if that oh my gosh so we don't have the six of wands yet that i see we have the four of wands there's the card of celebration we have the page of cups 
We have the lovers and we have the 10 of cups. What is going on here, Sag? Completely different deck for you, but there's some beautiful things coming in. For some of you, this is love. It's marriage. It's a wedding. Uh, it could be halfway to marriage for some of you. The Four of Wands is the card of 1111. It's the card of celebrating the special occasions. Now, this is about you hitting milestones. Some of you may be taking a vacation this month as well, or you may be attending a wedding. Maybe you're planning your own wedding here, but there's something that's showing up as an award, a ceremony. Other people are honoring you, or you may be honoring other people. I feel like... The energy that you're putting out there is like attracts like. The people that you are surrounding yourself with are in the same boat as you. And this boat is positive. There's a lot of positivity on this boat here for you, Sag. There's a lot of victory. There's a lot of success. There's a lot of achievement is what Spirit is giving me. Thank you. They just gave me the name Robert as well. Robert, uh, if that is your name or a nickname or a surname, please take it as it resonates. Uh, Four of Wands, just beautiful energy because uh, they're showing that you have double tens in your reading and, and followed by, you know, the stars, wish fulfillment, lovers. These are the best cards that you can get here. Uh, if Even if you have Sagittarius in your chart, pay attention to where in your chart that is at because the Page of Cups says you're going to be receiving some sort of news this month that is so emotionally fulfilling that your heart's actually going to just beat with, it's going to skip some beats because there's so much love for what it is that you do or for a person or for a new opportunity coming in for you. There's something that's really going to make your heart filled with pride, with joy. Some of you may be uh, becoming a parent or a grandparent as well. Even though we don't have the Empress, I feel like you may be celebrating more love because they just showed, uh, they showed the birth, birthing process. I know that's pretty uh, TMI, but they were just showing uh, the excitement regarding birth. Uh, for some of you, that's symbolic for you transforming and it's like you are being reborn as well, or you may feel that way in the month of April. Next, we have the lover's card. Now, the lover's card is... You know, a lot of readers talk about choice when it comes to this card, but what I'm really getting here is pure love. This is about partnerships. This is about balanced decisions here. It's about soul contracts coming in to your life. Things that you've been wanting to manifest, whether this is a personal or intimate romantic type of love, whether this is your soul tribe, your family, they're telling me that something will be, get repaired. There's some sort of repairing energy between you and a family member as well, or it could be a close friend. If you've had a falling out with somebody that was close to your heart, there's going to be a repairing or remolding of a relationship this month as well. And right behind it, we have the 10 of cups. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I've had some really beautiful bonus readings this month for, uh, for a lot of the signs, and I'm getting down there here, but Sagittarius, this is beautiful. Now, the Ten of Cups is the card of unconditional love and emotional wealth. It is the card of happy family and joy, having that fairy tale ending. And the fact that you have not only the fairy tale type of energy showing up here, I want you to enjoy it. I want you to revel in that energy. Don't uh, you know? expect the rug to get pulled out from underneath you or don't have feelings of, do I really deserve this? Or is this really meant for me? Or is this too good to be true? Absolutely not. You are worth every bit of the good coming into your life here in the month of April. I love this for you. But with life, all things ebb and flow. All things change and go you know, up and down. That wheel of life is constantly spinning. But April is going to spin not only spin because they're actually showing me a jackpot or you know on the the old uh, show wheel of fortune where you spin that wheel and everybody's excited to see what it lands on i feel like it's landing on the jackpot for you and you're going to sit in that energy for a little while so enjoy it because you deserve it here sag let's take a look and see what messages your guides spirit the angels the universe has for you in the month of april thank you spirit Okay, the first card we have is trust. I love this showing up because this is about you trusting that yes, you deserve good things. Yes, you've been through a lot and at times you question. Uh, we have a mother's love showing up here. 
Very beautiful. We have ask, just ask, and we also have memories. So how would you like these, Spirit? Thank you. They want, okay. All right. Just fixing your cards here. Uh, we have, oops. We have the trust card showing up. So a lot of you may have thought, I don't want to say that something wasn't going to happen here, but you may have really had a lot of hope and a lot of faith with that star card. There may have been, at one point you may have felt uh, like you wanted to give up at times or your dreams were just maybe not manifesting at the pace or the speed that you've wanted here. And this is about you opening up to the universe, you being vulnerable here. It says, while your logical mind may be dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance, Sagittarius, is urging you to follow an alternative path. This is the path of happiness, the path of enlightenment. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. You're not going to miss out because I feel like a lot of you are tuning into your solar plexus, your heart chakra, your crown chakra, and a lot of you are trusting that good things are coming your way this month. Keep that faith, keep that belief here, and ask. Because right be behind this, we have the Just Ask card. And you can see here that there's your hand at the bottom. It doesn't matter if you're female or male. And you can see the energies here of spirit coming in saying, just ask us for help. Ask us what it is that you want to manifest. Because it says there are many here in the spirit world, Sag, that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, your friends, your guides, your angels, your spiritual helpers who are waiting to visit you and assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. Really beautiful. So I feel with this uh, trust card showing up right away, I feel like you're trusting that your spiritual team has your back and is actually helping you manifest your wishes into reality this month. Really beautiful. All right, this is going to get deep for a moment here, Sag. Some of you uh, are really focusing on a mother's love. I feel like the majority of you or a lot of you, your mother has crossed over. Uh, your mother may be on the other side connecting with you at this time. Now, April may have been the month that you lost your mother is what I just heard here. Uh, April may be the month of some sort of anniversary, some sort of date. You may be visiting a mother's, uh, a mother's I don't want to say gravesite, but her place of location or her home here at one point. For those of you that have a mother still in this present world, in this physical world here that are still with us, you may be reaching out. There may have been a falling out between the both of you where that, that could be that family member or that close bond or relationship that is becoming repaired. But it says here, a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that the special bond of love can never be broken. Very beautiful energy. They're giving me a strong K. Strong, strong K with this name. So, I mean, that could be Catherine. That could be Katie. That could be Katerina, again, earlier. Um, so, again, whether this is a first name, a last name, or maybe a nickname, please take it as it resonates here. But a mother's love coming in from spirit. Lastly, we have memories. Not only are you remembering the good memories from the past, you're making new memories this month that are going to last a lifetime. These memories you're making this month, you'll never forget. And it says your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in spirit, as well as uh, those that have crossed because neither time nor distance, Sag, can stop the energy of love. For, for the love that you have for one another. Really beautiful. Some of you have also lost other people that were really close to you in the past. Uh, you could have been you know, brothers, uncles, it could have been fathers, it could have been close friends. You could have lost them in the month of April because they're just showing me somebody visiting and laying flowers on uh, a grave site here. So please take it as it resonates. Obviously, if that does not resonate with you, it doesn't mean that uh, you're going to be doing that this month. Just take it uh, again with a grain of salt. Now let's dive in here and see what momentum you need to keep on going. But wow, I don't know how it can get any better, but let's take a look. 
You have the world, the world, another beautiful card showing up for you. This is about accomplishment, achievements. It's about rewards, victory, celebration. So don't feel stuck and don't let setbacks or don't let some sort of feeling of a lack of closure ever get you down or hold you back here because the world card, especially it's showing up in the upright position. So again, we're clarifying uh, the energy that you need, Sag, to keep this momentum going. Continue on with this cycle of endings bringing new beginnings because you're shutting the door on a lot of things. Some of you are going into retirement or you're doing something now that will sustain you into retirement here. Now, the world card showing up is definitely about a cycle ending and feeling fulfilled and feeling whole, feeling uh, accomplished or successful. Some of you, this is traveling or it could be doing something globally, especially with that star energy showing up here. Some of you are reaching people on a global level. So keep on keeping. Next, we have uh, the seven of pentacles and the four of swords. Yeah, the four of swords talks about healing. It talks about Rest and retreat, taking a little bit of time out for some R&R. &R. So this is good because this says in order for you to keep this momentum, don't run yourself to the ground. I know it can be exciting. I know that there's a lot of new opportunities. And at times you may just want to go, 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 go. But this is saying make sure that you are taking a break, catching your breath and regrouping. Very important for you. Very important for others around you and very important to your energy. Thank you, Spirit. They're showing me a small dog with curly hair here. I don't know if this is like a, a poodle mix or a labradoodle. Uh, if this is a dog you have, or maybe maybe it's mother's dog over here. Please take it as it resonates. And next we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about you really taking a close look at your hard work that you've put in because you're really close to the harvest. You have the star, you have the 10 of materials, 10 of cups. You have all these beautiful cards of victory and success, but you're so close. And I feel they're giving me four years. So some of you may be four years away from retirement, or you may be doing something for the next four years that uh, you are going to, they're showing me triple digits. Could even be more than that. So six figure income here. Uh, it could be something that uh, you will see fully manifested and completed within four years. Very powerful energy here. That is a lot of you. Uh, okay. And it, even though this is a seven of materials, you have the 10 of pentacles showing up right away here. So you are really close to achieving this 10 of pentacles. Again, that 10 of pentacles is one of the best cards. And this is saying here, you are so close. The seven out of 10 here energy for you. So keep on going because your hard work is definitely paying off here. Now let's take a look and see what uh, what steps that you can take to continue achieving and manifesting your dreams? Because you are getting clarity. Uh, you have the two of inspiration, which is the two of wands. And we have that followed by the temperance. Yeah. So the temperance says that you've been balancing out your energy. You have been moderating your thoughts, moderating uh, certain things in life, balancing, compromising, and doing what it takes here to, oh, excuse me, it wasn't the temperance. We have the emperor showing up. I don't know where the temperance came from, but um, I'm going to, you know, if that's what I'm being channeled, I'm going to talk about the temperance first here. But there is something that you've had to compromise. And again, that may be, uh, you know, time, energy, effort. So I feel like you've been very patient to achieving some sort of emperor status because you have the emperor and you have the two of inspiration. So you've been planning your future for a while is what I'm hearing here. You've been planning your steps. There's something that you've been working towards here again to reach that ten of pentacles that retirement that victory that success here your goals I feel like you are going to have some major wish fulfillment happening here that's going to allow you to really set that reset button within your soul and be the catalyst to continue going because I feel like this stretch, this next layer of your life, not only in the month of April, but the rest of 2022, the rest of the next four years, there's something really beautiful, very strong, successful. There's motivation, determination, and there's a lot of happy energy and successful energy showing up behind this. This is that emperor I spoke of earlier. 
I believe I mentioned the emperor, but this is about you really rising to the, the top here. This is about stability. You're very powerful uh, and you're in a leadership role or you're taking some sort of life of authority for your life. You're taking charge and destiny of your own life here. So this is really great. Something that you've been planning for quite some time. You're going to see it appearing uh, in your 3D reality in the month of April. Now let's take a look and see what your soul, Sagittarius, wants you to really remember this month and help you manifest your dreams. Oh, I love this. Do I believe I am worthy? This is a really powerful question, not just for you, but for everyone here. It says you are worthy, you are deserving, and you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you, Sag, and go out and claim the life you've dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. I love that expression and that uh, phrase by Maya Angelou. Now, some of you may be looking into some of her work at this time or reading some of her quotes. And it says, today's soul action, Sag, is this. For a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy? We were just talking about this earlier, talking about making sure that you know you're worthy and deserving of these great things coming into your life. Today's mantra, I am worthy of it all. I love this for you. I just got full on body goosebumps here for you because you are so worthy of this 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles energy here. This is one of my, I, I will say one of the most positive, successful, abundant readings I feel like I've done. And, and I try to really uh, bring in the highlight, bring in the good, bring in the positivity. But man, I don't even need to do that because the cards speak for themselves in this reading here. Super powerful. I love this for you. And I hope it resonates with each and every one of you watching here, Sag. Now we're going to, last but not least, take a look at action steps from the angels. What do the angels really want you to uh, consider regarding manifesting your dreams? What do we have here, Spirit? We have mediumship. Ooh, some of you are connecting quite strongly to loved ones who have crossed over, whether they are your loved ones or the loved ones of other people. We have singing and dancing, and we have, have you asked your angels for help? You have the just ask card. So very funny, both of these from two separate decks, two separate uh, authors here. Again, have you asked your angels for help? Whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, know that you don't have to do something alone. Not only do you have physical help and support here in the physical world, even if at times you feel like you don't, you have a lot of support in the spiritual realm backing you up, whether that's your guides, your angels, your loved ones, your team, your soul team backing you up. Make sure you are asking for help. Next, we have singing and dancing. I love this. This is about you letting your inner child shine this month. Some of you are going to be surrounded by family is what I'm hearing as well. Maybe grandkids. Uh, you may be going to uh, environments such as weddings or uh, vacations, places that have music, places that have dancing. So get yourself out there. Even if you are the type of person, Sag, who likes to sit in you know, and watch everybody else and observe, Get out of your comfort zone and go out there and put the moves on the dance floor. You'll be amazed at how your energy shifts. It says express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Yeah, get your groove on. I love this. All right, and lastly here, we have mediumship. Again, very powerful because you did have that mother energy coming in. It says, you have, Sagittarius, the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So again, for those of you who are feeling, okay, this came up in another reading as well. One moment. If you are not only feeling, but if you're smelling certain scents, certain perfumes, certain uh, maybe tobacco, uh, if you're smelling certain things, because some of you have... Uh, have a strong knack at this time to really smell uh, even the clothes. They're showing me somebody smelling clothes as well. So I feel like there's some senses that are really being heightened 
for you at this month from loved ones who've crossed over here. So pay attention to all those signs. It's not your imagination, Sagittarius. You are highly sensitive and you actually are tuning into the energy of a loved one. Again, whether yours or somebody else's. So uh, utilize that energy and see how it can bring you more peace. I love this. I love this reading. I almost don't want it to end here for you, Sag, but it has to end. But stay tuned. Do feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment uh, if you haven't already. And I will touch base and tune in next week. Lots of love, Sag.